Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. In this episode, we're at our home base and we're getting ready for season three. Some of that work involves a new camera and setting some mods up on it, and then we're going to check it out in the truck to see how it works. So come along for the ride as down the road we go. Okay, when I got my GoPro 7 uh, in, I also ordered a bunch of uh, accessories with it. One, the first thing I did was I got this box of GoPro Hero shields for the back and for the front. Now they're glass, for the front glass and the back glass. And uh, that way if you ever get it scratched or something, you can take that off. Uh, it's, it's, really, it's really nice. They give you two in a pack, two front ones and two back ones. And plus you get these little lens cover caps like that. Which makes it kind of handy if you're out uh, throwing it in your pocket. You can put it on there and not worry about the lens getting scratched. So the other thing that we went ahead and got was I got on the uh, Harley, Harley Designs uh, YouTube video about GoPro 7 vlogging setup. And went ahead and ordered all the extra parts I needed to turn this into a really nice vlogging camera. Now I've already put all this together and I've had one modification. Basically this is the GoPro aluminum case that you can get off Amazon. It comes with a lens. We went ahead and bought some ND filters and right now it's got an ND4 filter on it. It's got a nice little cap that comes off and on. And then we went ahead and ordered from Harley this uh, 3D created little case right here and this little part here that goes on the side. Now what these do, do is this little case here holds the external microphone adapter for the GoPro. Okay, It slides in there, there's little o-ring hoses it in there. Now what he did is he had one camera set up, or one, um, I'm sorry, one microphone set up, but I wanted a mic in the front and in the back, so I added an adapter for two microphones. And these are the cords for microphones. The one that faces back towards, towards me is just a regular is a uh, regular little microphone. It's not a shotgun type. It's just a you know widespread. And then the front has a shotgun type microphone on it. Of course, with the muffs. Now these I can take off if I know I'm not going to need this microphone back here. I can just take it out of there, unplug it, slide it back in. And there I only have just the front facing microphone. So if I'm just doing uh, something where I know where I'm not going to be talking on the camera, then I leave it like that. If I'm going to be talking on the camera, like maybe I'm doing an interview and I want to record both in front and back, I'll put that in there. Now this comes with this little adapter here. Actually, I ordered this along with it, which is a little tripod and it's got nice soft legs makes it easy to hold this is what uh, Harley recommends and we went ahead and got that of course this is the back of the case this aluminum case and we have uh, an adapter for going on to that tripod it took a while to get it together I had to get all the little screws and stuff I went ahead and got the screws locally but uh, it really it really came out nice and let me show you how it goes together. First off, this screw came with it. We have to take, take the GoPro, stick it in there, and then put the case down in there. This is sometimes a little tricky. Oops, if I got it right. There we go. Next clips down in there and that holds the camera down in there. Now we end up with this part. This part actually goes over, if you can see that, this is where the, the plug for the adapter for the microphone plugs in. And to keep it, this part is to keep it from getting messed up and, and ruining the connection because when it swings around, if that part's not there, you can move this around and hit it. This, tar this part here holds it nice and steady. The best thing to do is go back and look at his video, how it all goes together. 
and I didn't want to go over all that again since you can watch his video and I'll put a link in the bottom of this video to Harley's video on how this all goes together but basically then we stick it there now all the microphones are connected we go ahead and attach the regular GoPro connection here and then over to the tripod and we have this ready to go so here here's our full setup we got the two microphones front and back the front is a shotgun type microphone and the, and the yeah, back is not it just you know catches my audio from it if I want to talk on the camera and the dual now that's my modification there we bought this and put it in it works pretty good we've tried it so that's it that's a nice looking little vlogging camera it's not that heavy you can basically almost stick it in your back pocket or stick it in your, your small backpack pocket or something and it's not so obtrusive when um, when you're walking through like a museum or something you don't have this great big camera with all these big mics hanging all over it so we'll go from there and see what happens now that we've modified the GoPro 7 Black to fit in the case for vlogging we've also gone ahead and hooked it up on the dashboard and this is how we've hooked it up the only thing we need to do now is run a power cable to it uh, we've got a power cable already in there but it's not long enough so we're gonna have to stretch it out a little bit and uh, move it around but uh, once we get that we're ready to rock and roll with the GoPro 7 on the dash and here I'll show you some uh, video from it to show you how it works so okay again this is a now this is a test because we're on a different mount if it's going to hang on there and be all right what we're probably going to need to do is put some Loctite on it to make sure it doesn't move around although boy it's really the camera itself is very stable looks like it's going to work out pretty good right there so we'll just have to put some hot glue and stuff on it and make sure uh, uh, we get it locked down real good okay we'll see how that goes well it looks like it's going to stick around We're not real bumpy here but it's fairly bumpy if we hot glue that or put a little uh, loctite on it it should work pretty good so guess we'll find out when we get back because um, we're gonna have to put that again we'll look at the footage and see how it goes and I think uh, I think that would work pretty good right where it is so, again we changed mounts and, and this is a test of the mount to see if it's going to hold up plus uh, we're testing the GoPro 7 in wide angle mode going down the road and with the uh, shotgun microphone. So if you can hear me, you should be able to hear Shirley. You don't really have to talk as loud as you normally would. So when we get down the end of the road, we're gonna switch it over to linear mode again, and we'll take a look at that. Now this is again in wide angle mode. Okay, don't particularly like linear mode. linear mode it's, it's like the camera's turning when you turn how weird but we'll go ahead and uh, uh, play it in linear mode that way and play it back and see which one looks the best so down the road we go That's enough video on this test. We're in linear mode again with the uh, shotgun microphone. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. In this episode, we'll leave our RV behind and head for Virginia where we'll have Thanksgiving with the kids and the grandkids. And along the way, we'll start our top five for season two. So come along for the ride as Down the Road We Go.